Now, the school summer holidays are drawing to an end with pupils preparing to return to the classroom. For youngsters, they'll be savouring what remains of the summer break. But for many parents, it's a welcome relief after a long summer of keeping children fed and entertained. One community project in Edinburgh has been helping out by running a club for children and ensuring they don't suffer from holiday hunger. Ivana Holland has more. Yes, we also have chocolate biscuits. All right. All right. Summer clubs like this one run by lifting neighbourhoods together are essential for parents and children getting through the school break. They're getting the kids out into nature and providing some much needed sustenance through the day. It helps out mums like Maitri, who says costs are just piling up. Having these kind of programmes locally as, and as so near as well, it's helped so much uh, with having not to think, OK, what I'm going to do with her, OK, two hours. So, And the childcare costs are so expensive. Uh, they are over the roof, uh, like £1,000 a month. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's just hard to even work when... Uh, when they are home in the school holidays. The project gets local children outside with art projects and creative play, taking the burden off parents and helping provide nutritious meals. It's one part of the holistic approach by lifting neighbourhoods together, supporting the local area, like supplying financial advice. We're standing right now in the poorest neighbourhood in the whole of Edinburgh. And Edinburgh shouldn't have even one poor neighbourhood, but people find it really hard here. There's vulnerable families who feel they've been really left behind for decades. One of the things we do is we can provide activities in the holidays, like the Art Buds programme, but also make sure people are accessing healthier food through our community food project, making sure they've got the benefits advice they need. We've got an advisor who's dedicated just to this neighbourhood of Bingham Magdalene and the Hayes. One universal truth amongst children, though, providing the food doesn't always guarantee they're going to like it. Ivana Holland, SV News, Edinburgh.